Hey, it's YouTube. It's me again. Um, coming back to explain something because it kind of need to be said. Because I don't think a lot of people get the purpose of what sex is actually for. Because, see, God's definition of sex versus humanity's is a tad bit different. Okay, here is humanity's. Pleasure, lust, and attention seeking. When I say attention seeking, a lot of women like to dress all sexy and shit to get a dude's attention just to not really want the nigga, but just want some time with the nigga and then kick the nigga to the curb, prove that she can pull his ass, and then throw him back to the ocean. Same thing with guys. They like to have jewelry, money, swag, big cars and shit to attract women to fuck them to throw them to the curb. Lust, you dig hard, you coochie, you give away, see something you want, you go out there, you smash it, and you leave it the fuck alone. Okay, now, here's the actual reason. I'm just going to explain why I'm saying this, because I had another talk with about this, so I'm just going to make it known. The word, uh, sex or procreation, um... Let me just break the shit down. Pro means to do better or really good. Create to make over. Shun to push out. Let me explain why I'm saying this shit. Because a lot of people just be fucking or having sex or whatever. Because they just feel good, but they tend to forget that a baby could possibly come out of this shit. And depending on whoever you had a baby with, could either ruin the shit, or the child's life, or make it better. Let me explain this shit again. Coming from... Damn. The reason it's called procreation... Is because when you make a child, you're supposed to be making it with somebody better than your parents did. Like, for example, if you notice that you were born between two toxic parents, and that don't even mean, oh, they do drugs, or they abuse you, no, no, none of that. All it simply means is they might be toxic to each other, but they love you. But you notice that they're toxic, which hurts you, because it's like, now, okay, my parents are like that, so is this how I'm supposed to be in a relationship? Is this how I'm supposed to do stuff? Is this how I'm supposed to act? Because a lot of parents don't understand, you might not be doing that toxic shit to your child, but you're doing it in front of them, or you're hiding it from them, but trust me, they're going to see you in the act eventually. And since no one in, in most communities like to correct shit or have an answer for it. Let me tell you this way. A lot of y'all toxic ass parents, however the shit go. Fed to realize one thing. Y'all children pay attention to everything that you do and everything that you say. So, if you're mad that your child's picking the wrong guy or chick or whatever the fuck, question is why and whose fault is that? Because the child is only going to go after what they know the parent to be like. So, just know if your child's picking toxic people, that says a lot about what they see in you. A whole lot. And unfortunately to say again, just to explain it. Procreation means to see the problem in your genetic pool with the people around you and fix the shit. Meaning, if you can clearly see that your dad and mom were toxic, and you came from between that shit and you somehow managed to survive and get past it. 
Here's a little key factor, and I, and I had to learn this the hard way. Don't just be born into a goddamn family. You see shit totally wrong. Then you just fucking ignore it because you don't give a fuck. Then you end up making the same mistake. No. See what's wrong with your blood and why. Learn from the shit and don't keep making the same dumbass mistake. That's what you call a generational curse. When somebody can obviously tell there's some shit wrong in their blood, but nobody wants to take time to, oh, we should sit down and talk about this. We should try to fix this. Oh, no, it's just, it don't matter. It's not going to change. Don't nobody got time for that. Then you wonder why motherfuckers end up worse than the generation that came before them because nobody got time for that. Then motherfuckers want to get mad. Why is this family so bad? Why is this family so messed up? Don't nobody ever want to do better? Then the second it comes to sit down and talk about it, nobody want to do that. Really? Point being is, to procreate means to make better than what you were. If you know you grew up in a toxic ass house, pay attention to why and who you were born between. And see what the hell wrong with them. And then try your hardest to find a partner that was better than the people you came from. And procreate with that person. And raise your child better than whoever the fuck raised you. That's why it's called procreating. To make better than the last. That's the shit people kind of failing to get the point of. Procreate means to make better than what was previously done. Not just fuck because it feels good and if something comes out of it, fuck how it turns out. No, 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 no. That's called lust. There's a big ass difference. Lust is just you want some dick, you want some pussy, you just want to get a nut off and just keep it moving. Procreation means you find someone better than who you came through this world or in this world through and do better with that person. Just let me explain some shit to you. And a lot of people, especially women, had this thing of saying, Oh, it's my body, and I can do what I want with it. Okay, well, question. Again, like the lyrics Young Jeezy said. Okay, you know all this stupid shit that you did in your life? Okay, see, maybe one day you'll have kids, and then how you gonna explain all the stupid shit that you did? And then guess what? Just, 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 just throwing it out there. After you got done being a hoe or whatever it is the whole time you was down here, forgetting you may have a baby with somebody. Somebody. And remember, you said, it's my body, I can do what I want with it. Okay, then you have a baby. Now that baby is being bullied in school because of what you did with your body because it's your body and you can do what you want with it. Now that baby's slowly learning that his or her mom was a hoe, his or her dad was a player. Now, anybody that comes in contact with your seed don't want shit to do with them because they think they might be like you. Or they may not be able to get a job because your reputation at that place was fucked up. That's what parents don't understand. You're leaving your child on this earth when you die or When you bring them on earth and whatever dumbass decisions you made is going to fall back on them. Because once you pass, they got to live down here. So now it's, oh shit, now I got to deal with all this bullshit y'all did. So for anyone that don't understand this, oh, it's my body. I can do what I want with this shit. No, it's not your body. Let me explain some shit to you ignorant ass humans who keep saying that dumbass bullshit. First of all, this right here, this is dirt. This shit you living in, this is dirt. How do I know? Because every time you sweat, this shit turns into dirt. You get in the tub, you get in the shower, guess what? You clean off your body, what do you see? Dirt. This body ain't yours, your dumb ass is just living in it. And let me ask you this question. If this body was really yours, then why don't you have control of what the fuck happens to it? Like... 
You get sick, you don't got no control over that. You get angry, you don't got no control over that. You fall into lust, you don't got no control over that. You die, you ain't got no control over that. Something bad happens to you, you ain't got no control over that shit. When you're born, you don't got control over that. If you get shot, you can't just heal that. That proves this is not your fucking body and you can't just do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. This body belongs to the ground, which your ass one day going to go back to. And your spirit, whether or not you believe you got one, is going back to who the fuck made it. So all this, oh, it's my body and I can do what I want with it. Okay, well, here's the question to your dumb ass. If it's your body and you can do what you want with it, then let me ask you this question. Your child... That same shit should apply to your child. They might have came out of you, but it's their body. But yet you don't let them do whatever they want with it. Ain't that some crazy shit? You say that but when you have a child, you trying to control every fucking thing they do. But it's my body and I can do what I want with it. Okay. Say that shit when you have a baby and they go out being a hoe. Just, just say, let, let them do what they want since you was allowed to. Let them do it. Don't change up. Keep that same energy when you got kids. Don't change shit up from nobody. Because again, I'm going to tell you. You say it's your body. But um, if it's your body, then why is it that eventually you're going to die from the motherfucker if it's yours? If it's really your body, how is it that you're not even in control of the shit that happens to it and you're not even aware of it? You can't control nothing that happens to your body. Your ass can't control when you get hungry, when you get tired, when you get horny, when you get angry, when you want to laugh, when you want to cry. You can't control none of that shit, so how is it your body? Hmm? How is it your body? Trust me, if it's your body, then stop death from coming to your ass. Stop dying. Stop being sick. Stop being angry. Stop making dumbass, irrational decisions out of emotion if it's your goddamn body. If it's really your body, prove that shit. Control it. Learn how to do that. Stop falling under lust and shit like that if it's really your body. And let me just throw this little loophole. A lot of people, especially women, are feminists made of that saying. And here, 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 here's the little underlining thing for that. Instead of you saying, oh, it's my body, I can do what I want with it. How about you just say, I don't know how to control this fucking body and I have no reason to know how to do anything with it. So my excuse is, it's my body, I can do what I want with it. Other thing is, I didn't make so many dumbass mistakes in life that I can't correct them. So I'm going to just say it's my body and I can do what I want with it because I don't want nobody telling me what the fuck to do. Yeah, that's just a much more honest way to say that. So all this shit about it's my body and I can do what I want with it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. But don't get mad when your ass have a child and then your child is suffering from the dumb shit you did. Just letting you know, Mr. or Mrs. It's my body and I can do what I want with it, ass. Because like I said, at the end of the day, if it's really your body, how can't you control anything that happens to it? Because it's not your fucking body. You're just living in it. But people have been so used to being in these goddamn bodies that you think you got control over it. Oh, okay. All right. That's how you feel. All right. Like I said, just to explain it one more time. To procreate means to make better than the last. Means you know you had a toxic ass upbringing no matter what the case that was not good. So when you fuck somebody... The point is to do better, not worse, on purpose, because you don't give a fuck. To make better than what was done to you. To raise better than what was done to your ass. Then if you don't and you fuck up on purpose, 
Don't get mad if the shit turns out the same way. That's why it's called a generational curse, because nobody fixes the shit. Everybody just want to ignore it. Then when somebody finally comes out and says there's something wrong with this damn family, everybody want to shun that person and look at that person like they fucking crazy. And trust me, I know I've been there and fucking done it already. That's the sad shit about it. Like, nobody wants to admit there's something horribly fucking wrong with this blood. Oh, people in this family are fucked up. Don't nobody want to say that. But then, when somebody keeps making the same mistakes, everybody's like, oh, how, how is this family still this fucked up? Answer. Because nobody paid a fucking attention. Everybody was so busy trying to act like nothing was wrong, it just made shit worse. I'm just letting you know because I came from this shit and I know personally. So all I'm saying is you can keep pretending like, oh, ain't nothing wrong. (laughs) Okay. You can keep doing that. Take that shit to your grave. Just remember what you don't fix now is going to haunt you till you go to your grave. Just so you know that. You know, yeah, one thing with the older generation, um, just gonna blame y'all for this very heavy, because y'all started this shit, like, all y'all who are, like, 70, maybe 60, 70, 80, or 90, yeah, y'all started this generational curse-ass bullshit, so, um, y'all better prepare a good answer for God when y'all croak, because a lot of y'all want to be on that. Oh, well, I'm too old to fix it now. I'm too old to fix it. Well, my nigga, my question to you. When your ass was vibrant, why did why the fuck ain't you fix it then? When your body wasn't old and feeble and bent over and beat the fuck up and struck out with all these different illnesses and sicknesses and shit, probably from some shit you was doing in your past and karma just caught up with your ass. Or it could be genetics, either way it go. But when you was young and could deal with it, why the fuck ain't you deal with it back then? Now you too old. So you want to say, oh, well, you young people, y'all can fix it because I'm too old. No, no, no. Yo, bitch ass, cast the curse. You need to fucking undo it. Or take this shit to your grave and explain it to the devil when you see him. Not God. The devil, because that's who the fuck you're going up seeing. Because a lot of you old motherfuckers done done a lot of shady shit, and y'all never fixed it. So, just letting you know that you want to pass this shit down to the younger people. Like, you must forget, um, we didn't ask to be born to you stupid motherfuckers. We just unfortunately were. So, all this shit about, oh, you young people need to fix it. I'm too old. Really? You're too old? But you ain't too old when you want some shit done for yourself. You ain't too old when you want to talk shit. You ain't too old when you want to go shopping. You ain't too old when you want your iPhone fixed. You ain't too old when you want to talk shit on people. You ain't too old when you want to fuck up society, but you too old when it's time to come and fix the shit. Oh, I'm feeble. I got a bad back. My knees are messed up. I got illness. Uh, Shit, Jesus got crucified 11 times and still tried to come back and fix this fucked up earth. Or should I say, let me just correct it. He got hung by a Christmas wreath, which is that round green thingy with the leaves on it. He got put in a, he got put in a, in an assailant asylum. He got his head chopped off. He got set on fire. He got put in prison. He got severed into 32 pieces. He got drowned or that little board board border washing thing where you put someone on the table, you put a rag over their face and you dump water on it. Oh, uh, what else happened? I can't remember, but he went to a lot of shit. And he tried to come back and fix shit. So um yeah, what's y'all, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. But y'all too old. Okay, whatever. Okay. Okay. Anyway, like I said, no difference or keep fucking up. Either way, go. Peace.